Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss the importance of granularity in a data model or a table and what happens if you don't get it right. So let's start. I've got a uh, Power BI file open here with me and we'll discuss it in context of a sim So let's say I've got this table which I just call a simple model and I've got these fields. Let me just look at it. So it contains uh, order information and you can see the grain of this one is the order number. So for an order number, it shows me the product num name which was sold, the date it was sold, order year, total product cost, sales amount, color of that particular item that was sold, what category it belonged to, city, country, state, province. But it also has customer name and yearly income. So the grain of this one is order. So it essentially should not be capturing customer information but it, it sits here and so that is if you don't model it right or you don't get the granularity right or if you add detail which should not be sitting in a table it can create confusion so i'll show you what i mean by means of an example so let's go to the the reporting tab here and let's say i want to see by for each customer what what is the yearly income and when i select it let me just go into highlighting mode and you can see that it is uh, showing me values which are really high and the reason for that is so if a customer uh, places an order multiple times say over uh, a two or three year period they place an order maybe 10 times so this this actually sums up all of that and that is because the grain is order number and the grain is not customer uh, so how do you resolve that you could break it up so the customer is in another table and the granularity for that table is customer but that's a different thing which we'll cover in um, ongoing videos in this series so this is uh, one problem and then to resolve this problem either you so there are two ways one is you could either write dax or you could go into yearly income and just say average um, so this looks a little more accurate and that's because it even even if a person makes maybe hundred thousand dollars a year and there are ten rows, instead of a million, it just uh, shows hundred thousand because it averages it out, and it shows the correct value. But if you begin a data analysis, it can throw you off. Um, and let me just show you one more. So we were looking at numbers, so it was a lot easier to decipher it. But let's say if I put it into summary. And then if it is a different one, maybe it's a histogram or maybe it's something else. There's no way uh, unless we start looking at the at the bottom, we start looking at the legend. It's not uh, that intuitive just by looking at it here that maybe the income, the income is wrong. So um, that's a problem. If you don't get the granularity right, there could be calculations which could be thrown off. And um, if you are not conscious of it, you could make potential mistakes which you either will have to rectify using uh, some some function which is available in power bi out of the box like average or uh, let's just take average here so um, either you use something which is out of the box or you have to write specific dax code so it just makes life more complicated in the long run so in this video we uh, discovered uh, why we should look at granularity and why granularity is important when you're defining a data model and what are the problems you could face if you don't get it right. I hope you find this video informative and useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.